Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. This is the post-fight review for the Tony Yoka and Johan Dorpe fight in France. What a statement from Tony Yoka, destroying Johan Dorpe in the first round. And before I go on, just apologies, this is recorded directly into my laptop. I'm on the road at the moment, forgot cord, the USB cable for my microphone. So the quality of the audio is uh, down on what it would normally be. But, but into the fight proper. Really not a lot to sort of go through here because it was domination from the start. Yoka getting the KO victory, drops Dorp twice in the first round. It's all over in about 90 seconds. And after the first right hand landed, I thought, Johan Dorpe, he looks a little bit shook up here because it was a slightly looping shot around the guard. And I thought, hmm, that looks like it shook him up. And uh, Tony Yoka just to put it on him, continued to put it on him. Nice uh, sort of right hand, some work to the body, just sort of split him open. And Dorpe was down early. And uh, from after beating that count, Yoka was just on him again with right hands swarming him, some body work, and then there was a beautiful uppercut. Johan Dorpe goes down, sort of slumps back into the ropes, and the referee has seen enough. He waves it off. So this was meant to be a fight in which, uh, you know, most of us were expecting would go some rounds. A lot of people were picking Tony Yoka to win, obviously, uh, but I don't think many of us saw a first round stoppage coming. And there's a couple of things, I guess, with this stoppage. One that probably shows that Johan Dorpe, uh, who we knew was well past prime, his chin is not what it used to be. It was one of these cases from the first punch that landed, I thought, he looks in trouble. This could actually end early, and it did. So I think uh, perhaps Johan Dorpe, you know, well past his sell by date here, the chin not what it uh, was cracked up to be. He's been in a lot of tough fights over the years. For the past two years, he really hasn't been too active. But um, Yoka, yeah, a lot of people do have a knock on him saying that he doesn't have a lot of power. But I think from some of the fights we have seen, including this one, he can actually punch. Maybe it's not elite punching power compared to some heavyweights, but he's got, he, but he's got good pop, as he proved again in this fight basically dominating from the outset. I don't know if Dorpa even landed uh, a punch on Yoka. And that's one of the disappointing things because this was a step-up fight for Tony Yoka. In terms of name value, at least, it was the most high-profile guy on his record. A guy who had formerly uh, fought for a title about five years ago now. And Dorpa is past prime. But he was expected to push Yoka a bit, perhaps test that chin, and we could see what Yoka was more about. But uh, what we saw in this one was utter domination. So a great win for Tony Yoka, a statement win for Yoka. And the question now is the what next? Because clearly, I think um, if he is going to be campaigning in Europe for the foreseeable future due to the pandemic, bearing in mind he's signed on to top rank, but because of the pandemic, he hasn't been able to uh, go to the United States and fight. Perhaps after this one, they'll, despite the bullet, send him over at some point. But uh, maybe there will be one or two more fights in France for the um, you know foreseeable future while things sort of uh, die down with the pandemic. And if there is... It would be good to see him in with, um, you know, tried and true guys who've um, gone rounds with top guys who have some durability, a la maybe a Christian Hammer, maybe even a Marius Vak. We still know that Vak has a good chin. So something like that might be um, a good test for Yoker, at least in terms of having some rounds and being able to see him pushed a little bit more than he was in this fight. Ultimately, I think many of us expected Yoka to win this one, but maybe not quite so early. It could have gone to points where a lot of people were picking a late stoppage, but first round knockout, yeah, that was somewhat of a surprise. But I think part of that is because Duopa looks to be completely shot now. But also you have to give um, Yoka credit for being accurate with his punches because he was, um, you know, getting around that guard. And uh, clearly that was, um, you know, a problem for Duopa early and he just never recovered he looked like he was shook up. Yoka put him down and then he finished him off. So good instincts and good predatory sort of finishing there from Tony Yoka all over in 90 seconds. So hopefully we see uh, Yoka out again soon. This this was his first fight in 2020. It'd be good to see him back in the ring by the end of the year. But on the basis of that performance, 
he's announced himself again to the heavyweight division. People will be looking at this and going, wow, that was a good performance. Albeit, Dorpel was at 39 and clearly past prime, and maybe the chin's not what it used to be. He still did the business. He got him out of there early and did what he had to do. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.